I'm back again at my house. My wife's still asleep, so I can't yell and carry on. My daughter is watching old Seinfeld episodes, so that's going on in the background. My dog's barking. I decided to try it again at my neighbor's house. Hopefully it'll go a little better than it did last night. I want to tell you a really cool thing. This is episode 7. That means this has been the first full week. It's so only like 51.2 weeks to go. I'm only 150th into this project, not even 152nd. So I could use a little encouragement. Leave me a comment. Help me out. I got something to show you here. Look at this. Look at that. It's a chair lift. I don't know exactly what you call it. I mean, if it was a chairlift, then that would make this the ski slope, I suppose. I think I'd like to ride in that. I think I should. You know, there's unwritten laws about when you when you house it for someone else. There's things you shouldn't do. One thing is, you should try your, try your best not to poop at their house. I mean, if you're driven all the way across town or something, and you gotta go, you gotta go. That's, you know, that's forgivable. But I live within walking distance. I just walked over here. So it's kind of kind of an unwritten rule. You should go at your own house if you're gonna do that. You know, I don't know the real rules about chairlifts. You know, I've kind of wanted to ride that for a while. I don't know, would you do it? Yeah, what the heck. <laughs> They'll never find out anyway, unless they watch this incredibly public video that I'm gonna post on YouTube. And if their friends watch it too, tell them about it. But you know, otherwise, there's no chance of them finding out. It's on. I'm just gonna push this button. Uh-oh, we are moving. We're, look, we're going around the corner. We're going up now. This is amazing. And the view is incredible from here. I've never seen anything. Look, there's a railing. This is really cool. We're going to go around a corner. Everyone hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm telling you. It's coming. It's... Oh. Uh-oh. You know what another unwritten rule is? Never go upstairs. Isn't that kind of the rule? Oh, I'm going to stop here. So I can't say I'm actually upstairs. I'm only on the stairs. You know, I'm going to reverse this. I'm going to go back down. Oh, oh my God, this is so scary. This is amazing. This is like a roller coaster. I mean, not the most exciting roller coaster. If roller coasters were like this, this is what a roller coaster would be like. So this is amazing. I bet everyone's jealous now. Tell me you wouldn't have done this. Tell me you wouldn't have tried it. Come on, I dare you. There. Look at that. And I didn't even break it. Because, you know, that's one of the one of the worries is, is that I'll break it. You know, and it's not like they won't know who it was because there's not that many people probably that, that are coming in here. You know, and of the ones that are, I'm probably the most irresponsible. You know, think about it, there's a lot of unwritten rules that we use. To, you know, specifically related to house sitting. One is, like I said, don't poop. Another is don't go upstairs. If you do go upstairs, stay out of the underwear drawer underwear drawer definitely a no-no i guess you can kind of peek in the walk-in closet maybe that's that's it's hard to say you know some people think it's okay i guess to eat food because you're doing them a favor you're house sitting for you but i think again that's like if you drove across town or something if you just walk across the street just to eat their food it's it's kind of hard to justify it, that i think and i haven't even looked in the refrigerator yet no i'm not gonna because of those unwritten rules. That's another unwritten rule is don't open anything. Don't open any drawers. Don't open any closets. Don't open the refrigerator. What you see on that first floor. I mean, I think if you really want to strictly enforce the unwritten rules, when you come in, you shouldn't even look at anything. You should just be walking along like, like this. Another rule would be don't break anything. But that one's probably not unwritten. That one's written down quite a bit. If you go into these souvenir shops, they always say you break it, you bought it. And I don't want to buy this chair. I think this is a pretty expensive chair. What other unwritten rules are there? You know, you should pretty much leave the place as you found it. Unless you're dropping off the mail. Then you're going to leave it the same, but with mail. No house parties. Wouldn't that be something? Invite like 150 people over. I think the chair would be broken after that for sure. Well, I guess that's about it for today. So, till next time. I guess actually this time I felt a little bit more comfortable here. 
because last time I violated their their family room this time I violated kind of an expensive mechanical device you know I think I'm improving